collector of physical media, and I hope that most of you out there are, because supporting physical media is the only way to keep physical media alive. And if you want to keep the physical media that you already own alive, then this video is for you. If you've been collecting for a while, I'm sure you probably already own some rare or out-of-print physical releases that can fetch a pretty penny online. For instance, I'm holding the long out-of-print Anchor Bay Dawn of the Dead Blu-ray release. Let's see, how much does this go for on eBay? Ten grand. This release goes for ten grand on eBay. I'm holding ten grand in my hands right now. Oh God, no! But seriously, this release goes for anywhere from fifty to one hundred dollars online. However. I do own the Vinegar Syndrome Rad 4K release with lenticular slipcase. Just look at that lenticular. Oh my. Now this release does fetch a fairly hefty sum on eBay. I've seen them listed for anywhere up to $300. Now will mine get $300 if I listed it on eBay right now? Probably not, but my point is this. If you own pricey out of print releases and want to keep them in as pristine condition as possible, Check this out. These are Retro Protection Blu-ray Protectors. These come in packs of 10 for 8 bucks. Along with Blu-ray protectors, you can also get DVD protectors, VHS protectors, steelbook protectors, video game protectors, action figure protectors, literally protectors for anything that you want to protect. That's a bit of a stretch, but if it's protectable, I'm sure that Retro Protection has a protector to protect it. They're made out of PET plastic, and they're thin, but not so thin that they feel like they're going to rip or tear. They seem pretty durable. These specific protectors are intended for Blu-rays and HD DVDs, but we're going to try a standard Blu-ray, a Blu-ray with a slip, and a Blu-ray steelbook to see if they'll fit. So how these work is pretty simple. First I place the Blu-ray inside the case before I close the tabs and flaps. This way the flaps don't go underneath the plastic or inside the slip and damage either the slip or the sleeve. Then you fold the top and bottom tabs and close it up on both ends. Once inside the protector, the Blu-ray feels nice and snug. It's not going to slide out, and the Blu-ray appears to be pretty well protected. So there's a standard Blu-ray. Let's try a Blu-ray with a slip. There we go. Nice and snug and securely protected. Okay, now we're getting serious. A steelbook. Will a steelbook fit inside? Retro Protection offers protectors specifically for steelbooks, but let's see if I can get one inside this standard Blu-ray protector. And there you go. It's in there. Snug as a bug in a rug. Now let's try an Arrow Blu-ray. Arrow's cases are thicker than standard Blu-ray cases, so let's see if it will fit. It's a tight fit, but it's a fit, nonetheless. What about an arrow release with a slip? Nope, not gonna happen. Now I did try to fit the rad release with the lenticular slipcase into one of these cases, and it was a no-go. However, there is a disclaimer on Retro Protector's website stating this. They suggest using PS3 slash steelbook protectors for releases with plastic covered slips and, as I've tested, thicker slips. I need to give a shout out to my buddy Steven over at the Bad Raven YouTube channel. He actually did a video about these protectors and that's the reason why I bought them and the reason why I'm doing this video. So go over and check out the Bad Raven's YouTube channel. I'll post a link in the description. So yeah, these are pretty cool. If you own some rare, out of print or pricey physical media releases that you want to keep in as pristine condition as possible, Look into retro protectors. The price is right, and they work. And because these are so thin, if you put a physical release inside and then put them on your shelf, they're really not going to take up much more space than just the release by itself. Remember, you don't own digital media. You're only renting it, and it could disappear at any moment, whether you've quote-unquote bought it 
or not, support physical media and support your pricey physical media with retro protectors. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.